A's Extra. Welcome back to the Anglers Extra pregame show. It's time for catch of the day as the Anglers get set to take on the Whitey Red Sox. Cooper Boardman here with USC's Ben Ramirez. Ben, year two. Welcome back to catch of the day. Yeah, thank you. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. We're excited to have you for a second time around. Let's start by talking a little bit about last year. Now 2018 a year ago. What's your biggest takeaway from that 2018 team? Well, I mean, we had a lot of a lot of good players from from that team. As you can see, uh, watching the first round of the draft, I think we had four guys from the 17 and 18 teams. So, I mean, I learned a lot from them. I'm taking it, took it into my spring season. I'm going to take it into this season out here. Last year, you were one of the younger guys on that team. Now you've got a little bit of experience. Yeah. What do you take from that into this 2019 season? Well, like I said, I mean, I learned from the guys who had been here, like the Bergners and a couple other guys who played the year before, just like I did for their second year. Just learn from them, take, take, take what they give me, and uh, hopefully can put it into this year too. What's it like watching all those guys come off the board on draft day? It was crazy. I mean, from being out here warming up, playing hacky sack and stuff, and then watching them go and actually making some real money, it was, it was surreal, and I'm happy for each and every one of them. 2018 team, you played a lot of third base. 2019, we're seeing you a bunch at shortstop. Yeah. What's that transition been like? Uh, well, I, I play a lot of short during the spring season, so I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with both. So I mean, whatever TH wants me to do, I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready to go out there and play it. USC, you bump up your batting average a little bit. What would you make of your second year at USC? I mean, it was okay. We, we didn't make a regional or anything, but, I mean, again, it's a learning experience. You try to take what you can from each and every season you go out and play, so we'll look forward to next year. You finish up spring. Now you're a regular in the starting lineup here in 2019. Mm -hmm. For you, there's a little bit more pop. Two doubles. We're talking to Mickey Tettleton. He said you guys made a swing adjustment. What's yeah. that? Well, I mean, I came out here, and the first thing he did was ask me what I wanted to work on. And obviously getting some more power, getting some more pop, more uh, more behind the baseball. And we did a, little, a couple things in the cage, and it's been feeling good. So hope, hopefully I can carry that. What exactly are those things in the cage? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to shorten up, kind of get to the ball faster. I mean, the, the guys out here, they're throwing hard fastballs, good breaking balls. So you can't have a long swing. So I think the biggest takeaway I've had so far was just shortening up and just trying to get to the baseball faster, and it's paid off. Looks good so far, at yeah. least. A couple of doubles so far. <laughs> really one, of the, one of the tops on the team. Yeah. 2018, you got a chance to be a part of that team all the way to the Cape League Championship Series. Yeah. How would you assess the vibe of this team versus last year? Well, I mean, any team that uh, is run by Coach Holiday, I mean, he, he's going to want to win. And I think, I think from what we've taken away from the first week, after that doubleheader, we, lo we lost those two. And the first couple games were kind of a, we were kind of cruising, but he kind of told us, like, hey, we're out here to win. We're out here to make it to the championship. And I think that's, that's what we're going to try to do. Ben, thanks so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Back to Josh Schaefer for more as we uh, duck under a baseball <laughs> on the Eggler's Extra Pre-Game Show.